Hello everyone and welcome. We start this coffee in just a few minutes. And Mr. Arnold is the host of the guest today. Starts in the evening. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Welcome, uh, RFID, Alberto, Phillips, uh, M, Tony, Studio 5, MO, and uh, Mr. Schooling, Edward Howard, Felt High, Buy Low, if you're a gold time. Again, uh, Dusty and many others, this is online at Trader Temple. We're going to watch the first place to start coffee in just a few minutes. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello everyone and welcome. We run up the trumpet. Okay, procession section. Are you ready? <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go. It is exactly 4 3 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Please welcome and your host of the winter show today from the stockfish.com. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevin, and welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome 2014. Wonderful start to the year this year. This is the first live presentation I'm doing this year. And it is about a great topic. It's called Earn $100,000 a Year Trading Only One Hour a Day. My name is Melissa Armo, and I trade for a living. I also own a company called The Stock Swish LLC. If you'd like more information, you can feel free to go to my website at www.thestockswish.com or email me at melissa at the stockswish.com as well. I also have a lot of videos of plays I've done on YouTube. I put the two plays from today on YouTube already this afternoon. And you can join me on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, or Skype. So let's get going here. Do you feel like your life could possibly be going financially in the wrong direction? Like this is how you feel sometimes when you look at your life or in the middle of the afternoon or you get up out of bed in the morning or you actually take a hard good look at things and the direction you're going, do you feel like you're, you're totally losing control and you don't know what to do and you just want to give up? Well, stop, 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 stop and regroup because there is, you know, a time in your life sometimes where life gives you a chance to actually regroup and start to get things going in the right direction. So how do people turn their situations in life around? How do people become successful, either more successful than they are right now at present or become successful if they are not successful or where they want to be. And what kind of people are successful? People that use their heads, 
Okay, people that are very successful in life and make a lot of money use their heads. They use their brains. They use their mind to get themselves sometimes out of situations or turn a situation around if they happen to find themselves in one in life and improve their situation. So can you become successful and earn $100,000 a year working only one hour a day? The answer is yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's 100% realistic. This is not crazy. This is not fantasy world. This is real life. And there's a way to do this. It's something magnificent, a wonderful thing, a wonderful career once you learn how to make money doing it and it's trading. So you can do this. The answer is yes. And it's from trading the stock market. Well, it's trading. You're trading for an hour a day. Sunny305 is asking a question. And people, you can feel free to ask me questions. I'm seeing the questions here live. I will try to answer them as we go unless we fall behind short in time. If we do, I'll follow up with them at the end, though. I'm not going to forget anyone's questions. So the answer is yes. How do you do this? Trading, trading, trading for one hour a day, and sometimes less than that. So how do people become successful in the market to get to this point? Is it dumb luck? Gambling, a lot of people think this and that's not the case. A tip by Kramer, <laughs> you know, who knows? <laughs> Reading a newspaper article, maybe, but probably not, okay? So the people that are successful, could they, could it just be dumb luck, could it be gambling, could it be Kramer, that it's 100% re responsible for their success? Maybe, but probably not, okay? Smart people know that to make money in the market, you need to learn how to trade well, uh, like a professional. And you need to learn what stocks to trade. Obviously, that's how you're going to make money. And more importantly, you need a plan of action. This is really what we're going to talk about today. So how do people become successful in the market? It's not this illusion like you think. A lot of people think it is really luck. Oh, those, that, oh, he was lucky, that guy. He happened to buy that stock at the right place and got out. And now he's a millionaire. Oh, that guy, he's lucky. This guy's lucky. That guy's lucky. Let me tell you something. Your luck, eventually, at some point, if you do make money in the market by luck, will run out. And then you will find yourself in the downturn. So the only way to be consistently successful in the market, to make money day after day after week after month after year after year, is to really know how to do it to really know how to do it. I'm not saying you can, you'll can. you never get lucky. Sometimes you can get lucky. But if you made the money based on luck, chances are you're going to turn around and give it back and more. So the idea, the object, the ideal, okay, is to actually learn what to do. And then guess what? Then you know it. Then you know what to do. And you don't have to rely on a television show, a stock tip in the newspaper, or some magazine article to actually make money and profit. It is possible to become successful trading in the market. I know because I'm doing it. And not only that, I'm teaching people how to do it. Regular people. But you must learn how to trade well before that can happen. So you got to learn what to do. This is key. If you do not learn how to correctly train before you become a market participant, your life expectancy, this is very important, people, your life expectancy as a trader will be short-lived, and albeit very painful if you become a market participant and you do not know what to do. So you can make your trading career easy, okay, which is what I'm helping people do, by learning how to trade and what to trade and when. Otherwise, you go in full throttle, you think you know what to do and you don't. Your life expectancy will be short-lived and painful. All right? So you've got to, what do you have to do? Going back to the first couple slides, use your head. Be smart about what you're doing. Go into it with a plan of action. You can achieve your goal of trading for only one hour each day and earn over $100,000 a year and more. In order to make money in the market, you must learn how to trade on the side of momentum because that's how you get paid as a trader. And I don't care if you day trade, overnight swing trade, it's momentum that pays you. And as a trader, you get paid when the stock price moves, when it moves in your favor, in the direction of your trade. So you want to be in a stock that has movement, number one, and you want to be in the right direction, number two. Because if you're in a stock that like you're in short and the direction is up to the upside, then obviously even though there's momentum, you're not going to get paid. So you've got to have stocks that move and you also have to be in the right direction. The largest momentum moves in the market happen, guess what? In the first hour of the day. The first hour of the trading day offers large profits for traders who know how to trade it. And I happen to do. And I'm so, I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky that I decided to do this. That long, 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 long time ago, I saw that and noticed it. And I was smart and used my brain and realized that these large moves happen in the first hour. And that is so key. So you can learn how to trade this hour. Most people do not know how. i got to be honest with you. Most people don't. But it, it simply involves learning. Learning a methodology and applying it. 
Once you learn how to trade the first hour of the day in the market, you will have an edge in your money-making skills as a trader because there's a lot of money to be made in that time. Trainers that are experts at reading charts during this time of the day make a lot of money. First of all, they're getting great entries. And then where they get out, it doesn't even almost matter sometimes because they're in and they're up. And then they can stay in longer for bigger moves or get out if they have to go on to do something else with their day. And by a lot of money, what do I mean? I'm talking to six figures and up. I mean, that's what I mean by a lot of money, you know, as an individual, as one person trading for this short period of time each day. So earning $100,000 a year is easy once you know, number one, what stocks to pick to trade. Number two, what time of the day to trade them. Okay, which I'm telling you is the first hour, particularly the first half hour. And professional traders earn $100,000 a year. Not only that, they earn more. I mean, let's get serious here. They earn much, much more. They know the right strategy and the right time of the day to trade in order to capitalize on the moves of the market. And even if you want to do this from your home, and even if you don't want to go and join a trading floor or run a hedge fund, you still have to be smart and have the mentality that you would or you could or you're poised to do so and trade as if you did or do and make those choices, okay? Because that's how you'll get good. And then even if you decide you want to be at home by yourself, which, which I do, you know, and train, you will do better and make more than you could if you didn't act like you're a professional, even though you're not going in to Wall Street every day. Okay, you don't have to do that to be good, but you have to think like that to be good. Like someone's there with you, your, your productivity counts, that your performance counts, because it does. Okay, it counts for yourself. And, and after all, you're important. What you do affects your own life. What I do, the choices I make, the trades I choose to take affect me, affect my account. So it's about how, what, and when. How? How do you make money in the market? Well, you trade a strategy that is profitable. Professional gaps, which is what we're going to talk about today, this is what I trade, are highly profitable. They're a highly profitable strategy because they create large momentum to trade. Remember, this is something that's important. Also, what? What stocks should you trade? There's so many out there every day. There's thousands. How do you know? Stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per my system, a system I created called the Golden Gap 26-point rated system. And we're going to talk about this today. And I trade the gap in the direction of the gap. I must be clear about that. So as far as directional bias, if the bullish gap gaps up, I'm trading it up or rating it for the up and for down to the downside, although I focus on down gaps. When? When do you trade them? Early in the morning, on the open, when they set up and trigger. So professional traders have a plan of action. They all do. And this is how, again, you need to think to be smart. That is what you'll need to make money. Just going into the market willy-nilly is not going to get you where you need to be as far as your goals. And remember, you do have goals to do this. Unless you're doing this casually and you really don't care. And if that's the case, then you're better off going out, going shopping or something like that, or spending your money where you're going to get a product for something in return for it. Being in the market, you got to be serious, even if it's only for 60 minutes a day. You still have to be serious about what you're doing. It's your time. It's your investment. It's your focus. So the focus is to get a plan of action, which is number one. There's steps. Here's the first step. To getting a plan of action together, what's the first step? You have to have a strategy. The strategy is the first key thing. You need a strategy. You need to have a strategy to trade. A trading strategy is the reason you're taking the position. Part of the reason you need a strategy is to tell you what direction you are taking the stock and not only that, why. No trader or investor should take a trade without knowing their strategy and directional bias. This sounds very simple, but I got to tell you there's a lot of people that have absolutely no idea what their strategy is and could not communicate it to me in verbally and therefore they shouldn't be in the trade. The strategy that I do is called GAPS. It's called the Golden Gap. It's a name I made up for it, but they're really professional GAPS. And what is a professional GAP? A professional GAP is a GAP that moves in the direction of the GAP. It is called a professional GAP because professional traders and investors are making and creating the GAP. Simple, okay? So it's a GAP that goes in the direction of the GAP, and it's made by professionals, institutions, Big, big traders, hedge funds, people that are taking positions on or off in the market that are running big money in the market. So in the case of a bullish gap, professionals are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher on the trading day. And in the case of a bearish gap, professionals are selling and are shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower in the trading day. And this is why I prefer bearish gaps. This is a side note here. Gaps that gap down, okay, have two things happening to them to create the gap. Selling and shorting. And therefore, they have doubled the potential for a move and very fast move. Remember, there's no 
pressure to buy something. A stock is going up, you think it looks good, you might want to buy it, you think, you think, you think, it's going higher. When, some, when you're up money in something, you're up long, and the stock gap's down, you were up money, now all of a sudden you're either not up as much or you're actually down, you, you're not going to have a lot of hard time making a decision. You're going to make it a decision. You're going to get out. You're going to sell. You want to be out. You're, it's a painful position now. You've got to get out of this thing. Get me out. And then that's what creates, creates the red and the movement down, and that's why I like to do shorts more than longs. Although you can do my system in either direction. So who are the ones that make these gaps? It's large institutions. And that's why they work so well with the momentum. So gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap. Okay, and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side. And that's what you want. That's what you want. That's how you're making the money. And then you play it. So gaps are an event, they're a strategy, and they create a sense of urgency, as I was previously explaining, Okay, which is what I love about them. And so an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money. So number two plan of action after you pick the strategy and have that in place, you have to decide the direction of the stock after you know what you're doing. How are you picking the stock symbol? What are you doing? Which one are you doing? There's thousands out there. So which stock do you choose? Well, you have to pick it. You've got to have a way to choose the stock to trade. You need a qualified method to choose which stock to trade. There are thousands of stocks in the market, and not every symbol will fit your strategy, and not every symbol will meet the qualifications. You must have a method of picking the symbol and the directional bias. So I use a system I made up, which I'm going to talk about today. It's called the Golden Gap 26-point method. It's a rating system, and this is how I narrow down every day this pick, that pick, this pick. This morning I watched Soda and Lulu. They rated over 20 points. I watched them to trade. So that's how you do it. There was thousands of gaps this morning. How do you know which one to do? You rate them. You have to have a system to determine which stock symbol to watch. You can't possibly play 100 symbols all at once. So I use a checklist. Okay, The Golden Gap Rating System is a 26-point checklist. I go through it every morning. And I go through the stock symbols I'm seeing that are gapping. If it rates over 20 points, then I'm watching it to set up and trade. And I go with the highest rated gap. And that's how I make a decision what to do. It was very easy for me today. Lulu rated the best, and that's the thing that I did. So the 26-point rating system measures gaps by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, because you want to be in something that has a nice, chunky move. Two, a big move in the day. Again, you want volatility and momentum. Three, early confirmation of my bias in the move, which is right into the open between 9.30 and 10. And precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. Because you want to be able to make money when you're trading, which is more than one to one R and R. So after one in the strategy, two, how to find the symbol, which is a rating system. Three, you got to learn how to enter the stock. You have to learn how to enter it. You cannot just take a trade without knowing if the stock is triggered. You also need to know if the stock is setting up to enter. What if it fails? What if it doesn't work? How can you tell if it's going to work or not? You need to be able to read the entry price and trigger price. And this is something I teach too. It's what I do. You need to learn the triggers and the time of the day to take them. The best time of the day for stocks to set up in gap trades is in the first hour of the day. During this time, there are multiple entries that set up with proper risk to reward. And if you do not know your entry, you cannot determine if the symbol is worth trading or not because you don't know if you have the right risk to reward according to your parameters. Like if you get in something and the stop is 50 cents and your target's 50 cents away, well, that trade doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay, you want to get in something that has a good risk to reward payout. For me, that's three to one on the low end and eight to ten on the high end if the stock goes on to the larger target. Is there such a thing as a perfect entry in a train? People ask me this all the time. The answer is yes, yes, there is. I know because I'm doing it and it's very important. A perfect entry in a trade is an entry that has all three parts to correct. Is it a reversal time? Is setting up as a highly rated gap? An entry in a trade is a place where the price of the stock is telling you that it's setting up to make a move in the direction of the gap. And this move is made by power money and is the reason you're taking the trade in the first place. An entry is an opportunity 
That's how I look at it, to enter a stock to get paid for profit. You don't want to miss the entry. If you miss the entry, all is lost because you'll get in and the move could be over. Stocks don't go in straight lines up or down. They wiggle and jiggle. They go into rallies. They go into reversal times. They rally back up. They move. The idea is to get in on something great with a perfect entry. And then you can manage yourself in the trade and you're up money. And the last thing, number four, is decide where to exit the stock. And you should decide this before, before you get in. Determine where you're exiting the stock. At target? Are you staying in it all day? You're staying until 4 o'clock before the target? After you're up a certain amount of money? What? You have to know. If you enter the position where or when are you getting out? Most momentum moves happen very early. And if you stay in it too long, you can be up money and give it back. Again, this is a no-no. You must know how to get out and where. So where you exit has a lot to do with the proper risk to reward, which is vital to your overall profitability. However, that being said, if you are up three, four, five, six hours and you can't stand it anymore and you're up a lot of money, I don't, I don't think it really matters if you hold it to the dream target or not. <laughs> so, you know, again, this is experience. You have to make your own choices. But lots of times these stocks um, can go all day. I personally don't like to trade all day. Um, I personally am usually out in the first 30 minutes to the first hour. Um, and they have their biggest moves then. But you really could some, hold some of these things to the end of the day. So do, so do you could have been until 4 o'clock. You could have been until 4 o'clock today. Went to the dream target. Uh, it's just amazing. So anyways, it's about risk to reward. One to one is not good enough as a trader if you want to do this for income for a living. For a sign thing or for some extra money, it's really not that bad. This is more than you'd earn in a savings account or a money market. But if you want to do this as a job, then this just isn't going to cut it because you do have to pay commissions. You do have to pay a membership to a trading room. So you do have to pay platform fees. There's lots of costs involved to trade. You've got to be profitable. And again, got to have a plan of action, which is what we're talking about right now. And I like to look at this. I always look at this for myself. I've looked at this for myself even years ago when I was doing mortgages. What is my time worth? What is my time worth? Ask yourself. And you do need to know what your time is worth. I think you need to know what your time is worth whether you trade or have a regular job. Because you've got to ask yourself if you're where you want to be. And if not, how are you going to get there? $1,000 a week is fifty two dollars a year. $2,000 is $104,000 a year. If you learn how to trade golden gaps, this equates to what hourly rate of pay? Well, let's break it down. One hour prep work in the morning. I suggest that to everyone. You don't roll out of bed at 9.25 and trade at 9.30. One hour prep work, one hour of training each morning, two hours of work a day. I usually teach after I'm done out of my trades, which you could leave and go on with your day. You don't have to stay and listen. Five days a week, two hours a day is 10 hours a week. 10 hours a week at an hourly rate of $1,000 a week is 100 bucks an hour. 200 bucks an hour, $2,000 a week. And if you get to the point where you are making $4,000 a week or more, look at what kind of hourly rate you're making. Okay, this is who is making this type of money? Attorneys, doctors. There's some attorneys right now that aren't even making 200 bucks an hour, depending on uh, what town it's in. I mean, people are struggling in their businesses right now. People that have regular jobs. Their hours are getting cutting back. They're not getting overtime. To be able to work two hours a week and make $100 an hour, that's pretty darn good. And it's $1,000 a week. That's only $1,000 a week trading. And you can make $1,000 in one trade. So I'm being realistic here. Okay, I mean 100% realistic. You have to ask yourself what your time is worth. So let's look at some of these gaps here. These are the golden gaps that work. These are two from last week. And then when we're done here, we're going to look at all the trades I did last week. Look at that nice red bar. Nice, fat, huge weakness in BBBY. Beautiful, beautiful gap that happened here. This was Thursday the 9th. Just an incredible chart. Okay, so BBY rated amazingly well. Opened, fell off a planet. Rallied up, set up right here, stop over here, dropped on down. You could have gotten out here, could have taken a re-entry here, could have held it all the way down to the target. Again, what are you looking to do? But let's look at the setup. Setup happened right here, 930, 931, 932, 933, the setup happened. The whole move was over here in the morning move by what time? 10 o'clock. Wasn't even an hour. 30 minutes. Down here to the full-on target, it was an hour. So from here to here, this was the low of the day in BBBY on Thursday. The low of the day was hit within the first 60 minutes of the day in BBY in this gap. Look at that beautiful thing. And here's the trade. Entry time 9.33, price is 71.69, stop is over 72.15. Again, this is an advanced risk. Okay, I've been trading now for over five years. You have to look at your account, the size of your account, what risk you can take. I'm going to look at beginner examples when we're done. 
first exit, 70.55, is over $1,700. This is 2.48 risk units. That means you risk 690 and made two and a half of that amount of risk. And this was in four minutes. Here was the first exit on this guy, right into this first move. One, two, three, four, boom, out. Now, if you wanted to hold this down to the bigger move, actually this did break this area a little bit in here. Here's the next move. Longer term, this is a five minute chart. You can see the bigger picture here where this full on fell off a cliff down here into the 10 o'clock time frame. Where this went down here into the 69.55 area was over for our trade. Now, you know, whether or not you'd hold that or not, again, is up to your own money management. Either way, the risk to reward in these trades are good. The moves happen fast. And in this case, it was in 30 minutes. This isn't even an hour's worth of work here for either one of these trades, whether you held the first target or the dream target here for this type of move. The setup here is happening at 71.69. This went all the way down here to 69.55. And by the way, a stock price at this point should move like this. Okay, this is, this is the kind of thing you want to see in a gap. I take the first setup. It's not always a sell setup, Sunny 305. I don't want to get off target here because I don't know what you know. I do uh, my own entries, okay? I have uh, several different entries I do. I have six different entries that I do, uh, and I, they're probably not the exact same things as you're thinking, okay? I, I do my own thing. If you see what this is here, this is a rally. This is a rally here. But this is not really, um, I, I don't want to get too off target. I don't want to get too off target, Sunny 305. We, I don't have time to go into a 30-minute explanation about, about what you're thinking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe you can email me and we can talk about it more later. I can do a video on it. I know where you're headed with this, but it's not exactly what you're thinking. Okay? Yeah, they do something. They do something. Everybody out there has their own methodology. I'll just say one more thing and then I want to get going here. Sunny's asking me questions. Everyone out there has a way that they do certain things. I have a way that I do certain things. It's not the same as other people do. It may look similar, but it's not. And if you trade with me, the people that do know that. And that's all I can say about that. <laughs> um, let me just get going here. And Sunny, you can email me later. All right, so getting on with this. Beautiful trade if you held this all the way down. Hard to do, then when you're up this kind of money. You know, if you can do it, it pays. There was it, BBBY. Let's look at the next one here. This was Shield. Shield on Friday, super duper, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weakness. Here it is. Drops on through nicely. Boom. Really nice bearish cap and Shield on Friday. When was the entry in this? Right here. Look. Look at this little guy here. Opens, fell off a planet. Immediate weakness. Tried to go higher, couldn't do it. Halted. Halted here, shorted it, dropped on down. And then rallied up and dropped on down again. This is 9.45. Time of the entry is what? 9.30, 9.31, 9.32, 9.33. Whole move is over in here at this time when? In less than 15 minutes. Now is it less than an hour? It's in less than 15 minutes. Entry time is 9.33. Price is 37.50. And I gave us a cushion because she'll have a little bit of a spread in it in the morning. 2,000 shares, a $600 risk. It's a $2 move. $2 move, four grand. Now, I know you had to risk $600. You don't have to risk $600. If you had taken 1,000 shares, you still would have made two bucks, which would have been two grand. If you had taken 500 shares, you still would have made two bucks, which would have been $1,000. The risk to reward in this trade is over six, 6.67 times the amount of risk made a profit in 15 minutes. Again, less than an hour's work. Some days you'll be in things more than an hour. Some days you'll be in things for four minutes. Some days you'll be in things for 25 minutes. It varies. Okay, the market is a living, breathing thing. These gaps are living, breathing, alive. You play them. You've got to find the one to play. You've got to get the entry right. You have to size yourself correctly to get the position size. And then, you know, whether or not you get in here and out here or in here and out here, it really doesn't even matter once you get this entry and hit it. Look, you're up immediately. You're never looking back. You were never down. As soon as you hit it, boom, there it is. This is what I'm talking about when I'm explaining this type of panic activity that happens when people see a gap down like this. So people are getting up in the morning, anyone that's long shield, they see shield here, they think shield's holding. They think it's holding here in this nice area. They think, oh, this is holding here, it's holding. And then all of a sudden they get up in the morning, the stock closed here the night before at 42.50 and open the next morning under 38 bucks. 
what are you going to do? Most people who were in this long probably rolled out of bed in the morning were down. Not only were they not up anymore, they were down and down quite a bit. They could have been out a couple bucks. What do you do? The prudent thing to do, the wise thing to do, the smart thing to do is to get out. And, and, and that's what happened. That's why the stock sold off like this crazily into the beginning part of the day. Really nice trade. So I wanted to do an example here for beginners because, again, I'm using advanced risk, but I think that it doesn't matter. If you start out as a beginner, there's still money to be made. You have to get used to doing the system, used to rating the gaps. You have to feel comfortable. You have to feel confident. And sometimes that means starting out small. 200 shares, 60 bucks. You could have done the trade in Shield. You could have risked $60, and guess what? If you had done it, you would have made $400. $400 really is not that bad at all. $400 times five days a week is, guess what? $2,000 a week. $2,000 a week at an average rate then of what? 200 bucks an hour. That's a pretty good darn living. Now, you're not going to make $400 every day risking 60 bucks because some days things aren't going to run two bucks. But some days you will, okay? And you can see the potential here if you choose something that has the momentum. And, and that's how it's done, okay? Results come. How do results come? They just fall out of the sky? No. They come from knowing what to do and when. They come from being skilled. I was having discussion about this this morning. It, it's, it, it's on you. It's on you to learn what to do. You either, you either are directed to go to the right people, like someone like me that's going to mentor you and teach you how to trade right, or you're going to go around and waver back and forth for months and years in the market trying to figure it out yourself or find somebody or read a book. And it's going to take you a long time and a lot of money. It's on you. You're either committed to learn how to do it and you want it and you want the money or you're going to flounder. And, and, and interestingly enough, I find that most people are fine floundering. They're not fine floundering, but they flounder anyways because they really don't have, they don't have what? What are they lacking? 100% conviction, commitment, knowing that it's possible and believing that it can be done and deciding that they want to do it. You make the decision. I decided a long, long time ago when I started to trade that I was going to make it and there was no way that I wasn't going to make it. And in the throes of the downturn in the first year when I was trading, when I was at the bottomless pit where you feel like there's no way out and you're never going to make it and everybody is telling you to quit, you got to believe in yourself. And I did and I always knew I'd make it and I did. So you must be committed to making it. And if you are, you will. The thing is that a lot of people aren't. Number one, a lot of people don't get how to trade right. They just don't understand how to trade right. I'm amazed how many people I talk to that have absolutely no clue how to trade. To me, it's easy. I'm like seeing it. This mar I, the market. I call, the market is in an uptrend, and I called that the market wasn't going to break over the high. I did a video last week, and I saw the market today. I can't believe how well I called the market, and the market fell in today. I can't believe how well I called it, and I called it, and I saw it. How am I able to do that? I'm reading the gaps in the market. I'm reading the gaps in the QQQs. I'm reading the gaps in the SPY. I'm reading the gaps in the market, and I'm not trading the market. It's nothing to do with what I'm doing in reference to my gaps, and yet I'm reading everything well. Why? How? How can I do it? I know how to read price, and why? Why do I know how to read price? Because I know how to read gaps in every single solitary thing. Gaps. Everything. Everything gaps. Nothing doesn't gap. Last week, January 6th through the 10th. First week, I'm trading in my brand new apartment in Manhattan. Beautiful view. Can't get any more conviction than this one. I roll out of bed in the morning. I'm so inspired when I look at my amazing view. January 6th, I did SCSS. I did it the first time, failed. I did it the second time, worked, made money on Monday. Non-earning season. Tuesday, CYNI I did. Wednesday, CYNI did made money. JCP I had to do twice. I risked one and a half on JCP before it worked, went on to work, and then I made money. January 9th I did BBUI. And Friday I did two things. Shield and the CHTP, which I didn't plop in here. I did that one too. There were seven golden gaps during non-earning season week last week. And they all worked. And, and there was like seven gaps a day that were good. I didn't do seven gaps a day. There were two that screamed at me, take me, take me, you're beautiful, which was Soda and Lulu. But there, there is a lot of things to do in the market during this time of the year. January, February, March, very busy time in the year, very busy time. But here, look, this is, this is, this is how you're making a living, okay? I'm not taking a 1,000 trades here. So again, you know, I'm very, very controlled with my risk. I'm risking quite a bit of money in my trades, taking sides. I'm very controlled. You cannot be risking six, seven hundred dollars in a trade if you're not a controlled person. Okay? 
So how do you get to that point? How do you get to be good? Well, you act like you're risking a lot. And then you learn the control. And you learn the system. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're doing it. And then you're making a lot. And then you're taking several thousand shares. And all of a sudden, the money drops out of the sky in the morning when you hit these trades. And all of a sudden, you're up a couple of thousand dollars. And then that's it. Your day is done. You don't need to do anything else. So first quarter earnings season, season begins in January. It's about in a week where things are going to get really, really busy about a week from now. And during the winter months in January through March, the stock market is liquid. Okay, there's a lot of liquidity, a lot of volume, and a lot of people are participating. It's cold, they're inside, they're trading. Companies also report their quarterly earnings, and this provides a lot of activity for traders. A lot of momentum, a lot of volume, a lot of volatility. So during the first quarter earnings season, there will be many gaps to trade. It's a good time of the year. During the earnings season, there could be as many as five gaps a day. Again, this morning, there was like, there was like seven good things this morning. Okay, and there's a lot of them that could rate over 20 points. Me, personally, I like to do one thing at a time, sometimes two. It's like so rare to ever do three things at the same time. But you could. It is up to your individual training plan as to how many stocks you want to trade each day. As long as the gap rates 20 points or more per the Golden Gap system, you can watch it for a setup to trade. Okay, you still have to keep to your risk parameters. One of the nice things about uh, my Golden Gap rating system, which I never made it for, is that it can be used to swing and core trade. This is something I've been following and tracking myself for about two years now. It's been about two years. Now, I'm not doing overnights, but I'm pointing this out because it, it, it adds to the strength of the overall system for you to do something else with to add on to your actual trading skills, meaning you do the day trades, you can do the swing trades, you can do the core trades. I'm not personally doing this, but I'm tracking it for the follow through. And like I said, I've been for about two years. One of the most outstanding benefits of learning how to rate gaps for the Golden Gap rating system is that many stock symbols have follow through. You can day trade the stock and be flat each day by four o'clock Eastern time, which is what I do. Or you can take an overnight position in stock for a swing or core trade. The targets are larger for swing and core positions. The quality in the Golden Gap system helps you identify pure weakness in the stock for follow-through, which can lead to these continuation moves. It's all in the detail, and because you're looking at a 26 points of price to determine the validity of the direction of the gap, okay, so the points are telling you the validity of this. How valid is this? Is this going to work? Is it going to work? Okay, is this a valid gap, or is this just a nothing gap? Okay. You're getting confirmation and conviction in the overall bias and direction for sometimes much larger and longer moves when you rate them. And this is your choice if you choose to take these for longer term trades. I clipped this from today. BBBY broke the low of the day of the gap today. I don't even know how this closed. I clipped this like after around lunchtime. This followed through after the gap for a swing trade into itself here today. I don't, again, I don't know where this close, uh, you know, I can look at it tonight. Even after this bar, okay? Really nice follow through here for a swing trade. And, and, and I have to see how BBY acts in the next two weeks. This could be a core gap move here. You're taking the entry the same as you would take in the day trade, except for, let's just say, if you took 2,000 shares, you wouldn't get out of all 2,000 down in here. You'd get out of maybe 1,200. And then you'd keep 300 or so into the overnight, okay? Shield, same thing. Shield followed through here today and is going to break again. May even have broken into the close. I didn't look at it. Nice follow through, nice continuation for a swing trade. This is cores. This was one from the other week uh, back at the beginning of the uh, January 2. This followed through and had a huge move, actually, the second day. This is just one overnight that followed through the second day down to this huge target. So from the initial entry in the gap here all the way down to here, it was over $4 just in two days if you just carried it overnight. It ran into the close here the first day of the gap, gapped again, fell, had the biggest move the second day. See that there on the course? And then this is IAG. I just clipped this uh, because a friend of mine, Tom, has just said this was one of the best calls I've ever made. These, these metals, these precious metals have fallen off the planet. I called them all last year. You can go back and look at my videos on YouTube. But really, this beginning move, this is back at the beginning. Okay, the beginning of this was January 2013. Look at what this stock did when it gapped down here. This is January 2013. 
just around here at $10 and the price point of this here today. It's just almost unbelievable. People think, well, it can't go any lower, it can't go any lower. Really? It can't go any lower? People thought it couldn't go any lower here at 5 at 6 at 4 It's at 3 and a half. Something can't go any lower when it's at zero, when it's at one penny. Don't short it. Don't short it if it's at worth a penny. <laughs> Otherwise, it can keep going lower. Really nice move here in this IAG. And all the precious metals, you know, have been doing things like this. So ask yourself, where do you see yourself in a year? Sitting at a desk at a job? Sitting at your trading desk? Trying to figure it all out? Or what? You know, it's the beginning of 2014. It's a good time to actually figure out, gosh, you know, I can do something with my trading this year. I can pull it all together. I can have a good year. I can learn this thing. I can do it. It's so early in the year. All your dreams, everything you want to accomplish, all your goals, you can set a target for yourself. You've got all the time in the world now to figure this out here this year and do it. So you can go back, you know, and, and look back in time. It's January 2015 and say, gosh, you know, I did it. You know, you have to get yourself to a point where you're motivated enough to say, I really want this. I, I, where I, you have to say, I really want it. So how will you get where you want to be through education? Through education, through learning, through, through mentorship, through learning from someone like me who really loves trading the market, loves trading, which I do, and loves the system that I trade myself and teach. So it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. And the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. The checklist helps you validate the directional bias and that you're going to get the momentum in the day. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And the course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock of the day, which we talked about the first thing that has to be part of your plan of action. The strategy, picking the stock, which is the rating system, entering, exiting. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on a very advanced level. Okay, this is advanced to people. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. And the course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader. I know a lot of people want to do many, 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 many different things. You don't need to do that. I'm living proof that you actually, not only do you not need to do more than one strategy, and I don't think you should, you don't even need to do more than one direction. Now, that's your choice, okay? But you can make a living doing something in one direction. One direction. All I do is short. I might do two longs a year. I think I went long the market last year, like in October and November. I, I go short. That's all that I do. And you can make a living doing just that. And how does it work? How is that possible? Because there's lots of opportunity. And when you get good at one thing, you're going to see it so easily. You're going to become an expert. That's how you get good. You become an expert at something. Like, let's just say it's football season right now. And I'm not really into football, but the... The Super Bowl's here in New York this year, so everybody's talking about it. You know, the, the, the thing is that you, you can't be good in every position. The quarterback is the quarterback. He has his job. Everybody has their job. Everybody is paid to be an expert at their job. That's why they're getting the salaries they're getting. You can't play the whole field and win. you got to be good at your job. You're the expert. And if you do your job and this guy does his job and this guy does his job as an expert, then they win. And that's how it's done, okay? So this idea of becoming an expert in one thing is makes sense, okay? Again, going back to the beginning, use your head. Be smart about it. Wavering all over the place is not the best idea. You have to focus on the right information. The right information to focus on in charts is price. Gaps show you price at an advanced level, which allows a trader to predict the move the stock will make before it does it. It's an amazing thing, actually. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action in gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable, and that is how you're going to make money. Trading gaps is a high-paying strategy because gaps are created by institutional money, and they're the ones that move the markets. So you've got to be with those people. Knowing this helps give you conviction, which you need to trade and take the risks you need to make profits because you're never going to go away from the risk factor. If you press the button and take a trade with your account or somebody else's, I don't even care if somebody gives you an account, you're taking risk. And you got to get over that. How do you get over that? Have conviction, understanding, learning something, knowing it. Knowing it like the back of your hand. Knowing that we can talk and you're sleeping. 
Learn how to see gaps clearly and how they are creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum. Trading gaps is a powerful strategy, and this is how professionals trade. You can use this sophisticated level of price information to make money as one individual. One person, you can do it. Reading gaps is a skill, and it is a skill that you can learn. It is so important to focus on price. There was some, something floating out in the internet somebody sent me about price where they said that you could trade without focusing on price. It was the silliest thing of all the things I've seen out there that I've ever seen. You cannot not look at price when you are trading. That is the very essence of what you're doing as a trader to make money. You must focus on price. That is how you're going to make money. You make money by getting in at one price and getting out at another price, and they make sense for you to profit. You must focus on price. You must learn how to read price. Gaps work as a way, as a methodology to determine your, how where you're getting in because you're reading the price. What are you reading the price of? The gap. You're reading the price of the gap. Everything you're doing, you're reading the price of the gap to determine if it's going to work or if it isn't going to work. And you rate it and see, and then you play it if it rates high. So how do you get to the point where you're earning the money you want to be making? Again, going back to what are you, what kind of hourly salary do you want to make? What are you worth? Think about these things. You've got to put a plan of action in place. Okay, this is just you know you've got to do it. So for beginners, I always say the plan of action is to take the course, take the Golden Gap course. Number one, don't trade without learning what to do. Learn how to rate gaps and practice taking the entries on a demo for a week. Two. Three, trade a live account with small size. Risk $50. $50 for a month. See how you do. Trade a live account with medium size risk, like 100 bucks a trade for one to three months. Gain live experience. Time behind the seat, time behind the desk, time pressing the button. See how you do. And then trade a live account with increased size between $150 to $200 for three to nine months to build the account. Pay yourself, gain live experience. I mean, $150 to $200 is pretty good risk for somebody in, in their individual account. You can make pretty good money doing that. And, and you've got to be good. Do it. Do it for three to nine months. Do it for a year if you need to. And then after that, the sky's the limit. You start trading with an advanced risk, three to $500 or more per trade, and you trade the market every day you can where you get highly rated gaps, and you're making money. And you're like, gosh, I'm so glad I did this. This is a great life. It's a great career. And, and I cannot tell you how much it, your confidence improves in other areas of your life once you learn how to trade the market. Because after all, even if you come to me and I teach you how to do it, the kudos is still on you for putting it into play, okay? And you will feel confident in yourself and be able to achieve larger things in your life, personal relationships, professional relationships, when you pat yourself in the back and say, yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. You learning from me doesn't mean you didn't do it. You still got to press the button in your own account and risk your own money. So coming to me, you still need to learn what to do, but then you can pat yourself in the back and say, I did it. It's an amazing feeling once you learn how to trade and make money and turn it into real cash. Specifically, you've been trying to do it for years and haven't had any direction. So how do you break down your goal, okay, to make $100,000 a year? Well, on average... To make 100K per year as an annual income, trading gas is would equate to a goal of $2,000 a week, like we were talking about, which is about 200 bucks an hour if you're trading gaps. One hour prep, one hour trading. Some days it'll be a little bit less, some days it might be more. And if you have to leave by a certain time, you just leave. Whatever money you make, that day you make. And this is at 52 weeks a year. So it's a 104, and you might take two weeks off a year or around the holidays. So once a trader is experienced with the system, you can make more as you improve over time. You've got to get good before you can start increasing your risk. The sky is the limit, though, with how much money you can make trading once you know how to trade well. It's kind of like you start out here, you go to the next level. You start out here, you go to the next level. You start out here, you go to the next level, and so on and so on and so forth. All of a sudden, you look back, you're doing it for 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 years, and the sky is the limit as long as you continue to get good and trade. I stay sharp because I trade all the time. I stay sharp when I teach. Um, when I teach the class, I'm sharpening my skills, sharpening my skills, sharpening my own skills when I teach it because I'm teaching exactly what I do every day. Oops, sorry about that. It's my phone. <laughs> Anyways, using the Golden Gap strategy will help you stay consistent, profitable, and focused on achieving your goals. You know what's so funny? I, I, just, I got this Verizon package in my new apartment. I got a free phone. I got the Fios internet because I wanted the really fast speed internet. 
I got all the premium channels and then I got a free phone with it. I don't even know what my phone number is. <laughs> so it's probably like a sales call. I picked, I picked it up like a couple days ago. So it just moved in like two weeks ago. I picked it up. It was a survey for some political candidate or something in New York. So whoever it is, it isn't anybody that I know because I don't even know my number. I haven't given it to anyone. <laughs> all right. Any questions so far? Any questions so far from anybody? Any, anybody have any questions so far at all? I know Philip is funny. So the detail in the 26 point checklist helps you with discipline. And this is one of these things that a lot of people struggle with in their training. They don't have direction. They don't have discipline. They don't know what to do, which symbol to train. They don't know whether to go long, whether to go short. Sometimes they'll go short, they'll flip it and go long. You cannot train like that. The checklist, the system helps you get discipline. Okay, it's a structure. My class is a structure. It's very structured. It's very structured. It's very detailed. People need that structure when they're trade. I need that structure when I trade. That's why I made up the system for myself. Okay? Going through the checklist gives you discipline. And if a stock does not rate over 20 points, guess what? Then you do not trade it. You don't trade it. Okay? It doesn't mean you go long it. You don't trade it. It's just not a good golden gap. You do something else. And then I plop this picture of myself in here because people have asked me if I trade. Yes, I trade. I trade. I trade. I trade my own account. I'm a trader. I'm one woman doing it. Living in New York, trading. Out of my house. Out of my apartment. You just heard my phone ring. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about anything else? And how do I train? I train with conviction. How do I know in the morning that Lulu's going to work? How do I know in the morning when Lulu works and I take Lulu and I hit it at 9.31? How do I know it's going to work? How do I know? How can I take a trade like that with size? Lulu was moving so fast this morning. It was like a banshee. And Lulu was moving so fast this morning, I couldn't even see the price. I didn't know whether to look at the level two or the candlestick. How do I trade? I trade with conviction. How do I have conviction? How do I do it? How can I risk this kind of money in one trade? Because I know what the heck I'm doing. Because I believe in what I do and I believe in my system. Because I have 100% conviction in the trades that I take and I always go into trade believing that it'll work. Does it mean that every trade works? No. But that is not how I take the position. I take the position because I have 100% conviction in my rating system in the gap. In the gap. In the direction of the gap. That I know Shield's going to go down. That I know BBY is going to go down. That I know Lulu's going to go down. That I know Soda's going to go down. That I know all these gaps that are going to short are going to go down. Does that mean that I make money every second of my life? No. Sometimes trades don't work. And there's no reason for that. And nothing is 100%. But you go into the trade with a conviction. You take the trade with size and you take your risk. You put the stop and you play it out. And you believe in what you do. And if you don't believe in what you're doing, then quit. Stop. Don't trade anymore. Learn something that works. Learn something you can believe in. You have to understand what you're doing to believe in it. If you have absolutely no idea why Shield would gap down and keep going, then, then, then don't trade it. You have to understand. There's, there's an understanding. That understanding, that uh, comprehension of the price is what gives you the conviction. You say, yes, I get it. It makes sense. Now I get it. I'm going to do this because it makes sense. And then you do it. If it doesn't make any sense to you, you're not going to do it. And if you're doing stuff and you don't know why, that makes no sense. Stop. Learn something that makes sense. Learn something that you can understand that does make sense. Get in, in charge of your own decision makings by saying, you know what, I want to do this market thing. I know this works. I see people making money. I've got to learn something that I believe in. And that's what you have to find. You, you have to find and grab hold of something that you believe in, that you believe can make you money. I mean, because that's the object of doing this. So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. You've got to empower yourself. You can do it today. You can do it a year from now. You can do it five years from now if you want to. And watch all my webinars online for the next five years if I'm even still teaching. But the reality is that you could empower yourself right now to do it if you wanted to commit yourself to learning. There is money to be made in the market. 2014 offers a new year for you to achieve success. Huge year. Huge. Somebody in the room last week said he felt like it was Christmas. I don't know what it is. I'm in this new apartment. Life is amazing. I've never been happier in my whole entire life. I'm doing a job that I love, a dream career, and I'm living in a dream city in my dream apartment. I, it's like just, it is like Christmas lately, literally. Gene <laughs> uh, is asking me, am I using a proprietary day trading account or my own funds? First of all, when you, use, when you open a prop account, you're still putting up your own money, Gene. 
but then you get buying power from the broker. And if you go to a retail account, you're getting buying power from the broker too. Okay, so either way, every broker is giving buying power, but it's your own funds no matter how much you put up. I just want to clarify that. I have a retail account, Gene. I have a retail account. I did trade a prop account in the past, um, and I've traded both. I think there's positives um, to both types of accounts. Personally, right now, I'm trading a retail account because I can pay myself whenever I want. And so for me, it's the convenience. If I trade right now today, I can take the money out tomorrow, even though the trades don't clear for five days. So it's cash flow for me that I want the retail account, all right? But there's nothing wrong with prop accounts. They're perfectly fine. It's still all your money, though. The leverage is different. The course description for this weekend, the class is this weekend, January 18th and 19th. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. If you take the class and want to retake it, you can retake it as many times as you need to until you get all the information where you feel like you can talk it in your sleep just like me. I believe in repetition for people to learn. I think that makes you better. So I let people retake it after they sign up for the first time for free. The class is this weekend, January 18th and 19th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $2,499, $2,499. If you're interested, email me at melissa at the to sign up. Here is my email. Your path to success is the Golden Gap course. You get on this road here, it looks like winter, but you're going down this road and you're making money and all of a sudden, before you know it, it'll be spring. Trees will be blooming, flowers will be blooming. Nice way to trade in the winter. I'm doing a class also next week called the Trends course. I'm offering half off for people that do the Golden Gap class this weekend. This class is January 22nd and 23rd from 1 to 5. The cost individually to do this class is $9.99. It's a course on how to read trends, how to read trends in stock charts. And this is very important, too. I find a lot of people misread trends. Uh, trend reading is more than just pivot analysis. And anyone that does a Golden Gap class this weekend is getting half off this course if they want to sign up for both classes. You could do the Trends course and the Golden Gap course for $29.99. It's a savings of $4.99. This is the January special. I try to do a special every month or so in something. And so this is a special for this month. You get 50% off the Trends course if you want to do it both classes in January. Winter is a great time to take a class because you want to learn now milk the market for all it's worth during this time of volatility and momentum. So ask yourself, do you want this year to be great? The answer is yes. You do want this year to be great. I want this year to be great. This year is going to be great for me. This year is great. It is great. And I want people to have a positive attitude about their own trading going into this year. And then I plopped here a picture of my apartment. It was so big I couldn't frame it out right in the PowerPoint, but this is my view. This is my view for my living room. <laughs> on the 60th floor. This is the George Washington Bridge. Actually, when I blow up the pictures, when I take them in my camera, I, it's so small I can't see it, but when I send it to my email here, you can see it. That's the bridge. It's a beautiful view at night, too. And you can actually see all the way up the street and this other one over here. This is 42nd Street over here. Look at that. So, you know, you have to say to yourself, where do I see myself in a year? Do I, do I want to have this kind of lifestyle or do I want to have this kind of lifestyle? What do I want? What do I want? Ask yourself. You are the creator of your own destiny. You are the creator of your own life. You have to take charge of the situation that you're in. If your trading is not where you want it to be, then what are you going to do? you got to do something. Continuing to go on and on and do the same thing isn't going to get you where you want to be. And if you're not where you want to be in a different career, then you have to find a way to change careers and trading may be it. It's a great thing to learn because you can do this for a short period of time in the morning for an hour and you can train and be on with your day. And you can make that transition from one career to another career in a reasonable period of time. And you don't have to quit your full-time day job until you're making enough money trading to be able to do so. And you trade in the morning, learn what to do. Once you're making enough money trading in the, in the morning to quit your full-time job, you can quit. You have to learn what to do first. Okay, so it's a process. It's a step-by-step -step process that involves a plan of action, and you must be conscious of that. This is about making conscious choices, conscious decisions, being smart, like I said, thinking in your head, using your head. You can have lofty goals. You can have lofty dreams. I know I've had them. I'm living them now. 
At the time that I started out, I wish someone would have said to me, Melissa, get a plan of action in place. Melissa, pick a strategy. Instead, when I started out back in 2008, I did every strategy in the world in every direction. That didn't work. And soon I learned that it was about focus. And that is what I'm teaching people now because this is the way to do it. I know I've achieved this for myself through doing that. And it is about being specific. And gaps really is it because the moves happen so fast and so big. And as far as I'm concerned, they're really the easiest thing to trade in the market. If you're in a strategy where you need the market direction and have to read the directional bias of the market correct to train and you need to have the market with you, you will, have, you will struggle. Because there'll be days, lots of days, you don't read the market right and you don't get the market. And then what do you do? Gaps can be played on their own and you don't need the market direction. I've been shorting gaps for the last five years and the market's been bullish. Okay? So, and I prefer to do shorts and I'm doing shorts and I'm making a living shorting. So you don't need the market to trade gaps. That's another bonus too, besides the time frame and the momentum and the volatility. So get yourself motivated, whatever you need. Have your goals, have your dreams, have them in sight. Maybe it's moving to a new city. Maybe it's moving to a fantastic home or apartment. Maybe it's going on vacation. Maybe it's quitting a job you hate. Have your goals set out for yourself. You need to know what direction you're heading. Thank you, everyone. Does anyone have any questions for me? Don't want to go over time here. Sorry about the phone. I'm actually going to have to unhook that. I just don't think of it because nobody calls me because nobody knows the number. It, it, it has to be like a some kind of sales call. Any questions at all? All right. Well, thank you for coming, everyone. Actually, Philip said the other day he heard the police sirens in the back. I just I I don't even notice them anymore. But that was funny. He heard him from down the street. <laughs> Thank you for coming, everyone. If you have any questions or if you're interested in the Golden Gap class this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. And have a wonderful trading day tomorrow. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for hosting me this evening. Anyone like inf more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Thanks. You're welcome. <coughs> and uh, thank you again, uh, uh, thanks to our host presenter from the Melissa Arnold.